Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and me and Dina are back today together after a few weeks to do a fabulous fall wreath for you guys. Ellis has gotten some amazing products this week that are now uploaded to the website, ellishomeandgarden.com, so I can't wait to show you guys what they've got in, what you can expect to see over the next coming weeks as they get, continue to get more products in for fall. Hope you guys had a wonderful week last week. Girl, I did. I was laid out in the sun, honey bacon. And uh, we were there for four nights, five days with uh, my aunt and her friends and uh, some friends of ours. And it was great. Everybody got along great. We got, um, we made great memories. We got to see different places. And this time we did something a little different, which was we actually left the resort and went out into Cabo. And it was stunning. I'll have to tell you guys about this place in just a second, some of the things that we did. Um, but overall, we had a great vacation. Um, I'm glad to be back. I got, I'm more inspired than ever. I'm ready to get this fourth quarter um, coming up, kicked off and started. I've got lots of exciting things going on, and so I can't wait. Josh didn't almost die. Josh didn't almost die this trip. He did not go in any snorkeling adventures, any scuba diving adventures. He stayed in the pool where you could see his feet in four foot water. Although, I would love to have done something like that. I really wanted to go zip lining because the thing about Cabo versus Cancun is Cabo's got like big mountains everywhere, and um, I wanted to go like zip line through the mountains, and he was like, Dylan, I'll snap the wire. And I'm like, no, you will not. So, we didn't get to do that, but I would like to go next time and get like on a ATV or something and go like in the jungle, if you will, or the mountains and stuff, because I love that stuff. To me, there's only so many things you can do laying in the pool, and after then, I'm ready to go do on an adventure or something. But, hope you guys had a great week as well. Y'all leave a comment, let us know how you are today, where you're watching from, and any questions you have throughout the video, y'all drop those down below as well. Okay, are y'all ready to see the coolest things ever that Ellis got in? Check this stuff out. Okay, so I'm not using all of this on the wreath today. I'm just going to use a select few pieces, but all of this is available. And Leopard, Leopard, Leopard is so hot right now, so it's going to fly out. So please get on there today and get what you want, okay? So look at these. First of all, we've got these Leopard Pumpkins. How cute are these? These are, um, I think they're, let me see how tall they are, five inches. And they're beautiful cloth leopard. They've got a real pretty stem on there. They're styrofoam, so I'm going to show you later. We can stick a stem in the bottom and anchor it into the wreath. We also have these fabulous curl sprays, which I know I've used these before at 4th of July and stuff. And these are so fun. So we're going to mix a few of these in our wreath as well. Check that out. And then one of my favorites is this. This is beautiful to stick in the centerpiece or a garland. And that would be this pumpkin spray here. So the leopard pumpkins. Look how cute that is. So those are the three new leopard items that are available at ellishomeandgarden.com. We're going to mix that with, of course, my favorite, the maple ivy teardrop. We've got some fall ribbon, and we've got an 18-inch grapevine wreath behind me. So remember, y'all, everything that I'm using can be found at ellishomeandgarden.com, along with so much more. They've got Christmas stuff they're starting to arrive, fall, Halloween, um, and they've got some great summer sales as well. So if you're not ready yet to transition or you've got some custom orders you need to take care of, get on there and check out the other stuff because they've got lots going on. Kimberly wants to walk around off Maui. Kimberly, that sounds amazing. Oh, my God. Um, I'll tell you guys more about my trip as we get going, but it was so fun. Okay, so we're going to start with a ribbon. So um, I was going to use a leopard ribbon, which is available on the website. I believe it's in a 2.5 and, and 4 inch, but um, I didn't have any here in the store. So I have to use what I have. And so I'm just going to use some traditional plaid ribbon, which this is always a go-to. A lot of times people ask me, what do you stock up on? And plaids are great for fall because you can literally mix them in anything. You can dress them up or dress them down. So I'm going to start with this plaid, tie myself a bow to go over here on the left side of the 18-inch grapevine. I'm grab myself a piece of wire. Okay, so y'all don't say any spoilers because Dina hasn't watched and I'm only two episodes in, but Virgin River is finally back on Netflix. So that's one of my favorite shows. And I started it last night. I'm two episodes in. There's ten episodes. If you've watched the new season of Virgin River or started, leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. My friend Bethany told me that this season is much darker than the others. And I don't really know what she means by that. I'm not asking her either because I want to just see for myself. But if you've watched Virgin River Season 3 on Netflix, leave a comment and let us know what you think about it. Okay, we're going to tie us a bow. This is going to be a pretty bow just to go down here and anchor the wreath. And then we're going to start filling in with all of our maple ivy teardrops. And the swags are on the website too, guys. And you can use those the same way. Just cut those apart into the um, length or the width that you need, and then you'll be good to go. I'm probably going to do a five-loop bow to get started because I want my main focus on this wreath to, of course, be the leopard pumpkins, which I think are so fun. Lindsay Lee says, we did, Joseph. 
Oh, Lindy. Okay. What do y'all mean by darker? Like, I'm gonna, I want to know. Like, sadder, uh, scarier, harsher. I mean, I could tell by the first two episodes that Jack's kind of not in a great space in his head, even though he's not showing that to Mill. So, what do y'all think? And Dina, I'm going to give you a spoiler. Um, because you're going to wonder when you get on there. So, you know the lady that plays Hope? Mm -hmm. So, she's not on season three because she couldn't get there because of COVID. So, she's like on the phone the whole time. But she'll be back for season four if, if hopefully they get renewed. But um, I love her and I was so upset. But anyway, that's why Hope's not on there if you guys were wondering too. Okay, five loop bow. I'm using some plaid ribbon. Of course, you can use any ribbon, guys, of your liking and do the same thing. So let's put this all together. Okay, so I'm going to fluff out my bow, five loops, and put this on. Look how, see, this is why I like the plaid ribbon, because it's so pretty and traditional. And I'm going to put it down here on the left side of the wreath, and I can actually zoom in for you there so you can see a little better. We'll anchor that on right there. how pretty that is y'all just that traditional ribbon and I'm just choosing to do one type of ribbon but you can uh, totally do more if you guys choose to <gasps> not the tag honey okay let me take the tag out y'all that's tragic over here get rid of that okay now we're going to take our maple ivy teardrops cut those apart in different pieces and sizes and then we're going to anchor that into the wreath okay these are on the website too, guys. I think they're like 20% off, which is great savings. And these go super quick. And I use a lot of these in my personal life and in my groups and on my pages as well. Um, because you've got so much in here besides just the leaves. You've got the berries and everything like that. Okay. Can we talk? Let's talk about vacation. So when we got there, um, first of all, we had to get on the plane. You know, I love plane rides. All that makes me really nervous. I'm thinking I've watched Manifest where I got on here. And I don't care if I have to get on that flight. I'm getting to Mexico. So I got on a flight. Everything was great on the way there. So here's how nice I am, y'all. You ever think, is Dylan really a nice person? Don't ask Josh, but I'll tell you. So they have, have they have TVs on the back of the plane rest, you know, and honey, I gotta watch me a movie to keep my mind off of flying out of the sky. So um, I went and got headphones for myself. I got headphones for Josh. Everything was ready, excited. So we got on the plane. I had, you know, they, they were going through, like, what do you do if the plane crashes? Like, that's gonna save you. I'm like, listen, I'm just gonna go through and find me a movie. So went through, found me this movie. I watched all these trailers. I was so excited. So was Josh. He was gonna watch Up, which I'd seen that 500 times. So I get my headphones out, put them in my TV, put my headphones on, girl, play the thing. Okay, Paramount Studios, here we go. Look over, honey, Josh's headphones, his headphone thinks is broken. It doesn't go in his TV. So, I was like, you know what, it's only a two hour flight. So I ended up giving him, uh, he ended up putting his headphones in my TV, syncing them up to where the same movie would play so he could hear it, and I let him watch the movie on the way there. Wasn't that sweet of me? So, on the way back, I was like, I don't care if you have to roll around the floor, I'm watching a movie. There were no TVs on the headrest on the way back. And so then, I was sitting there, and you know, people are so freaking rude on planes. And so I sat there, and there was this girl in front of me, she had this long hair, honey, this curly hair, all the way down to her butt. And she gets up in the plane. She reclines the seat all the way back, first of all. So it was like giving birth in there. I was like, I had this whole seat in my head, I mean, in my lap. And her, all of her hair was in my lap and wrapped around my legs. And so the whole trip, I was like, what do I do? So I should have sat there and braided her hair or something. But it was all hanging around. It was nasty. And so I was already like, Ugh, gagging the whole time. I had my Dr. Pepper there. Her hair was going in there. And I had her head in my lap like she was in the dentist chair. I mean, it was too much. So then after I got done with that, we finally got there, okay? So we got there, we got immediately, our room wasn't going to be ready until 3, we got there at noon. I couldn't get over the, the community there. It's so clean and neat and nice, and we had a wonderful Escalade pick us up. It was so nice, air conditioner. He gave me a beer hunting in the car. I thought this is going to be a great trip. So we get in there, go through. I was taking lots of pictures. I was like paparazzi on the way to the resort because everything was so pretty. We get there, we spend the day in the pool. We have a wonderful dinner that night. Okay, so y'all don't need seafood. I'm about to get sick. So um, we went to this Mexican food place, and um, instead of ordering off the menu, we had a big group of people, 18 people. So my aunt was like, let's just have them bring out the chef special. And I was like, okay. So they bring out chef special. What that is is like charcuterie boards, but it's full of different foods. They bring out like four or five of those for appetizers, four or five for uh, dinner, four or five for dessert. But the dinner ones, they bring out like several different options. 
So the first one that came out was all seafood and it had um, uh, octopus on there. And I was thinking, <gasps> Ursula. That's immediately what I thought of. And I'm like, I'm not eating that. People were sucking on that, pulling on that, tits twisting, tapping. I was like, I cannot. So they all eat that seafood. I have one piece of meat, honey. I was stuffed. So fast forward. About two nights in, Morgan always has problems, okay? So we stayed in this room. She's right down the hall. So let me kind of lay out our room for y'all. We'll get this wreath done by next week. So when you walk in the room, everything, the doors in the room, like the door to the bathroom and the door to the closet, um, is those barn doors that slide on the thing. So the door to Morgan's bathroom was sliding, and they have one on the opposite side of the shower. So like that's the light to the shower. You pull that over. There's a glass wall. The light from the outside shines in. Morgan's in a room by herself. Why she needed to close the bathroom doors, I don't know. So the, the next night, she'd already told me her air conditioner wasn't working that great, blah, 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 blah. I told her to call. She never does. So I'm like, well, burn, girl. Burn. So then the next night, we get in early. We were exhausted. We had a great day, but we were so busy. And we got in our room. It was like 10 o'clock. So I took a shower. I got in the bed. I got so comfortable. Found uh, The Hunger Games. It was on TV. It's the only thing that wasn't in Spanish. And, you know, in Mexico, y'all, if you flip the channel one too many times, you end up on something nasty. Okay? And I'm like, mm, mm So I had to flip it on back a few. Found The Hunger Games. So I sit in there, I'm so relaxed, my phone starts ringing. Now, if y'all know Morgan, she gets up at 4, 4 a.m., it seems like, watches the sunrise, watches the birds lay eggs, everything, and she goes to bed at 9 o'clock. So when she was calling me at 10, I thought immediately something was wrong. So I answered the phone, and she's like, Dylan. And I was like, what? She's like, I need your help. And I'm like, Morgan, I'm not getting up. Whatever it is, call the concierge or whatever. I'm not doing it. She's like, Dylan, I came in my room, and I tried to go in my bathroom, and I knocked the door off the hinges, and I'm pinned to the wall. And I'm like, Morgan, I don't have time for this, okay? Just let it fall on the floor. And she's like, there's a mirror on the back side. I cannot move. I'm pinned to the wall. So I had to get up, put clothes, put pants on, walk down there to her room, open the door. Honey, she is pinned to the wall. And I'm like, Morgan, here's a blanket. Good night. <laughs> okay, sleep on the wall. So I had to lift up that door, which weighed 1,000 pounds, lift it back on the tracks, and then I had to give her a stern talking to and told her, do not touch anything else. Do not sneeze. Don't use the sink. Don't sit on the toilet. You squat. Don't do anything because I'm not coming back down here. So she went to bed, and the next morning I told her, I said, were you able to get in the bed without the ceiling fan falling out on top of you? And she said she did. So the whole trip, the doors are kind of outside. My biggest fear is lizards and iguanas because they're everywhere there. And, you know, if iguana, I watched a video before I left, which probably wasn't a good idea, that said the iguanas can jump in the pool and chase you, and there's videos of them chasing a girl, and I would, my soul would leave my body, and I would just die right there. So... Thankfully, it didn't happen. But before, I've had like geckos and stuff get in my room. I had to burn it down. So then last night we were there, I get in my bed, get undressed, took a shower, got all comfortable. I found the Titanic, and uh, they were just about to sink, and Morgan calls. And uh, she says, Dylan, your worst fears came true. And I'm like, don't, Morgan, I don't have time. Just, I'll call you later. She's like, there's a gecko in my room. I need you to come kill it. I'm not tall enough. I said, Morgan, I don't care if you have to get on your tallest pair of heels and stand on the counter. I'm not coming down there. I do not do lizards. I'm not getting in that room. Your room is cursed. No. So she ends up finding her pair of shoes, whacking that thing and kills it, leaves it in the floor, and she finally goes to sleep. So anyway, needless to say, Morgan had a lot going on in her room, and she got this new weave, y'all, by the way, and it's fabulous. It looks so good, but you cannot get it wet and leave it wet because it will mildew, and I was thinking of Sears when I thought about that because Sears and Longview used to smell like mildew, and I always called it the mildew collection. So she couldn't get her hair wet. So every time we were at the pool, and, oh, my hair is getting wet. So she has to wash and dry her hair every single day when we get back from the pool because she has to take care of those extensions, which rightfully so because they're so expensive. Um, so she was on, you know, and she had all that hair, which was like Kardashian hair, but it takes forever to dry. Not that I know because I only have three left <laughs> falling out by the day. But um, so every time I went down there, she was always extremely hot and, and mad because she was uh, had to dry and do all that hair. But uh, anyway... Other than that, we had a great time, but yes, if you do go to Secrets, please be careful of the doors, honey, because she got pinned to the wall, and it was tragic. Anything like that happen to y'all? Oh, it was Secrets in Los Cabos, and it was fabulous, y'all. My first time staying in a Secrets resort, and it was beautiful, and I loved every bit of it. Okay, so we're going to start adding in our leaves. Ooh, look at those, y'all. How pretty. And you want to put these in. Cut them apart. Now, please, child, one thing you do not want to do ever is put this whole thing up in there. Okay, I've seen that before. Not good. So cut it apart. That way you're more in control of where you place your stems 
and then we can kind of go from there. Hi, Cynthia from Ohio. I just saw your comment. And this is long story short, don't travel with Morgan. Yes, it was very interesting. And don't get me wrong, we had a great time, but it's like every night something happened. And y'all know, this is what happened too. I was going to take, oh my gosh, I thought the windows came in. I was going to watch, um, I, we, it was 4 o'clock. Every day we got out of the pool at 4 because right now my shoulders are peeling because I got burned up the first day. I never learned my lesson. I got in my pool at 4. We had to meet for dinner at 6. Came back at 4. Took a shower. Whatever. It was like 5 o'clock. So I told myself, Dylan, you should not sit down in the bed and turn on the TV. Because I think I'm like Dina. I get sucked in real quick. Turn it on at 5 o'clock. What happened? The Titanic has just started. I was so glued, y'all. I was late for dinner. Okay, I could not stop because it didn't even get to the good parts yet. I, I was so interested in it. And I'd seen that movie 5,000 times. I was so sucked in. I was late for dinner. So now when I go on vacation, I just have to unplug the TV. Oh, and that's another thing. In Morgan's room, her TV would come on for five minutes and then it would go off. It was possessed, too. I'm telling y'all. So then I went down there one day, this is the fourth time I went in there, and tried to fix the TV like I worked at Radio Shack and ended up getting electrocuted, but it did not work at all. So that's another thing going on with Morgan's room. Dana, have you ever been to, um, they have them in different places. I went to the one in um, Branson, I think, that one of those Titanic things where like the boat's outside. No, I have not. I want to. Oh, girl. You can do like different things, like you can put your hand in like this water that's like the temperature of the water that night, and the sterile is the same in there, the same dimension, same wood, everything. I feel like you would love it. And I think they have one in Panama City, uh, Florida. Don't you go to Florida sometimes? I think they have one there. I only lived in Mexico for five years, and the guana got in her house, and she had people like next door to come get it out. Who is this? Iona. Iona, not today, girl. Uh, Y'all, that's my biggest fear. Those things are like huge monsters. So we also, the last night we were there, we went to this place. So we left the resort, and it was a little bit like, y'all ever seen the movie Taken with Liam Neeson? <laughs> okay, so when you leave out of the resort, it's like Highland Park in Dallas. Like, it's beautiful. And so we get out of the resort, and um, we get in this Uber. The guy cannot speak any English, and I'm, like, trying to – Josh is annoyed because I always talk to people like they understand, even when they don't. They tell me no English, and I'm like, okay, so how was your day? So I keep talking to him. And we get in this car, and we're going to this place called Flora Farms. Have you guys ever been in Cabo? So we had heard that it was a, um, a farm that they grew everything there, their own vegetables. They have their own garden. They have their own meat. They do everything. And it's beautifully landscaped. So, we get in the car, and um, Cindy, I will zoom, honey. Let me zoom in for you real quick. There you go, girl. So, we're not done with the leaves yet. We just put a few in. I've got to put some underneath here to even this out, and a few more across the top, okay? I don't know how much you cut off the leaves. I'm, I'm cutting off about this big of a section. So, that's probably like four inches. Every four inches, I'll make a cut. Okay. So, we get in the car, and we're going down this beautiful road. All of a sudden, the guy turns off on this dirt road, and I thought, this is it. Taken 2.0. But we finally make it to the farm, y'all, and it's stunning. It's like 500 acres, privately owned. I'll share pictures later on Designs by Dylan, but they had huge mango trees and palm trees, and they had turtles and everything. Y'all, that was the best food I've ever had in my life. Someone at my table ordered a pork chop. It was this big. And it was so good. I had pizza there. They had homemade ranch, which in Cabo, they don't have two things. They don't have three things. They don't have sour cream. They don't have ranch. And they don't have drunk pepper, so Dina could never go. Mm -hmm. But um, I had to deal with Coke all week. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. I have, like, battery acid in my mouth. So, um, Flora Farms. Look it up. It's so good. That was probably my favorite thing that we did while we were there. And the night before we went downtown, which is about 45 minute drive, to this place called Invita, and it was an Italian place. And we got to go to all the Mexican markets and stuff down there. Fabulous. Rebecca will post the shopping list, the supply list, at the end of the video, so everything will be on there. Okay, y'all, so I'm continuing to add in my leaves. I'm going to put a couple more down here underneath the bottom. Okay, so 
and right here, lift up your ribbon. Cindy, for time and demo purposes, he just sticks them in there, but you want to make sure that you glue them. Look around, make sure I got everything in where I need it. Okay, so go look. I haven't even got very much on here at all. And I've already got such a great base going right here on my wreath. I just have these maple ivy teardrops. I have this five loop bow. And I'm going to put this long piece kind of coming right down here. So, put them on the bottom. Okay. So, in my group a lot, guys, and also in all my other videos, I give starting and stopping places of where you could do depending on your budget or your customer's budget. You could stop here if you want. To me, you have a beautiful fall wreath, and if you're looking for different pieces to put in your inventory that you've got low-budget items and high-priced items, this would be a great one that's super simple and easy. And if you weren't talking about a trip like I was, you'd probably have it done in five minutes. So um, that works out really well. So the next step, what I'm going to add, is I've got a few sprigs here of this fabulous wheat spray. And this is one of the items that's on the website, too. EllisHomeAndGarden.com, guys. Remember, everything's on there, and wait for the leopard pieces. I showed them at the beginning. But all the new leopard pieces are on the website as well. Hey, Charita. Hey, girl. Okay. We're going to work in this wheat. And something else would be pretty. And, guys, we're experiencing a few delays getting our products in, but cattails would be so pretty in here. Or even any dried, like, protea or some pods. All that stuff would work out well. Where does Tiffany live now? Florida. Oh, how's she doing? doing good. How's her daughter? She's doing good. Good. Does she live near the beach? They, uh, she's 30 minutes outside of Orlando. So she's about 30 minutes from the beach. And her Disney. Yeah. Uh, have you been with her before to Disney? No. No. Okay, y'all. So I'm putting in the, um, the wheat. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Can y'all see it better? I just love this zoom function, honey. I'm zooming around. Okay. I've also got a few sprigs of this long <coughs> greenery left. So I'm going to take this and mix this into. This is just going to give me a little bit more fullness and it's going to break up and give me some color as well. So I'm going to cut these long pieces into shorter pieces and then I'm going to incorporate these into the wreath. couple pieces down here. And on this side. Okay, and a little bit right over there. So that just kind of broke it up, gave me some more color. Could you twist that knob underneath the ring light that's like right here and make it as bright as it'll go? It's on one of those sides. I can't remember that one. Let's see, going another way. Perfect. Okay, now y'all, we're going to use our little leopard curly sprays. Look how fabulous these are. So I've got two. I'm just going to cut these apart and place them in the wreath. The curly sprays are great because you can pull them apart and do different things. So let's cut these in half. Okay, now you can pull these, you know, and do different things with them. I'm going to put a few sprays of this. Oh, look at those, y'all. So pretty. And these are going to go so quick, y'all, on the website. So hop on there today and check all this leopard stuff out. There's three or four different items. The pumpkins, the curly sprays. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to put a few up here as we go to the top. Okay, got one more piece. Put this one up here. Look at those. Do y'all like those or what? Me too, Cynthia. Okay. <clears throat> Last thing. We got the leopard pumpkin. So I'm going to take a little wooden pick. These are foam, so like I said, they're really easy to attach in here. Okay? Side bar. Do you guys ever watch movies, but yet the people in the movies are so pretty you can't even focus? Okay. I watched, it was a waste of my life. Yesterday during my lunch, I had a little long lunch. I watched this movie called, um, I don't know, Till Death, that's what it was called. It had Megan Fox. I could not get over how pretty she was, the whole movie, and I couldn't even take her seriously because I was like, she's so pretty, you know? Do you think she's pretty? Oh, I love her. But let me tell you what it's about, okay? <sighs> it was a lifetime. It's about her getting drug out in the woods to with her husband on her anniversary. When she wakes up, he shoots himself and they're handcuffed together. And she's got to dig her way through the house, dragging her husband. And she was cheating on him. So then he, he took everything out of the house she cut the handcuffs off with. Then he sent somebody to kill her. So then she had to run around the house dragging her husband. And I watched this whole thing from start to finish till they fell in the lake at the end and died. I hate to spoil it for you. Don't watch it. Okay, it's called Till Death. You'll never get that time back. Okay, let's add this pumpkin, y'all. Okay. I'm going to nest this pumpkin in right here. Make sure it goes in the grapevine. Look how cute. Okay, and the last little leopard spray is this one. I wasn't going to use this, but I think I am now. So let's cut these pumpkins off. And we're just going to put a few of these, and you can straighten out this stem that's on there and put it in how you want. Dina, I got a movie for you. Have you seen Revolutionary Road with Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm -mm. Watch it. So good. Okay, we're going to put a few of these in, y'all. Are y'all loving the leopard? Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs up. Okay, let us know what you think about it. I love leopards. And last year when we were at market, I was very um, vocal about us needing to get these leopard picks because it was the hottest trend right now. I have to disown my friend Katie because I just texted her earlier and I told her when I get done with this video, I'm calling her to talk about The Bachelor and she's in meetings till one. Priorities, get out the meeting, okay? I gotta talk to you. Lots of thumbs and hearts. Okay. Okay, y'all. Look at that. So we have this fabulous full fall wreath. We have an 18-inch grapevine. We put in the maple ivy teardrops. We cut those apart in four-inch sections. A five-lip bow at a plaid ribbon. You could use leopard if you wanted. And then all two of our new picks. So we've got the leopard pumpkin, the smaller pick version, and we have the curls, which I think are my favorite. You could always change this out to leopard, too. All two of them? All two of them. I meant to say three, but two of them were the same. So y'all know I went to Sylvan. Okay, shout out to Sylvan. Um, okay, guys, all of this stuff can be found at ellishomeandgarden.com. There's so much on there, not just this stuff, but so much more. You can change it up. Something I would love to put with leopard, which I'm actually going to do at my house this year, would be blue. Navy blue, royal blue, turquoise. So all of those items I would add on there. The reason I left this side exposed is because I like it to have a great balance between the natural look and something cool. Sometimes... You know, people's doors are thinner or smaller or not as wide, and so this design works out best for them. And if you do double door designs, which means you have a front and a, or a left and a right door, on the right side, put this design on the right. So that way you have a perfectly mirrored design when you get ready to design on your door. Sylvia said she would add berries to the top, so we would add more colors to the top, too. These berries? Who said that? Sylvia. Sylvia. Girl, okay, let's do it. Let's put it on there. Y'all had some of these berries left on some of these picks and they weren't on all of it, so that's why. So let's add a few up there. Let's see what we got. So we'll curve our berries. Let's zoom back in here so y'all can see. Okay. We're 
gonna work these in, the remainder of the wreath. This one over here. There we go. Okay, Sylvia. I said, Sylvia, Sylvia, check that out. I think you're absolutely right. And y'all, I love your recommendations. Y'all tell me anytime you want me to add something. You know, I get talking and get distracted. Sometimes I forget you even put the wreath up there. So, I love those on there. It just adds a little bit more color. You could always mix drives in with here. Any of those things will work out great with uh, this design. All right, guys. Well, love you for watching. I had a great time today catching up. Thanks for tuning in each and every week. Don't forget, shop us online, ellishumminggarden.com. You guys can follow me on Facebook at Designs by Dylan. And guys, don't forget to have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. It's 20 bucks a month. In that group, I teach all the principles and elements of floral designs with a minimum of four videos per week, a, a tutorial per month, and all kinds of bonus stuff. So uh, y'all check me out, dylanpalmerdesigns.com, and Dylan is spelled D-Y-L-A-N. All right, guys, love you for watching. Have a fantastic week, and we'll see you next Tuesday, 10 a.m. CST here at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all. Bye.